Hello, in today's video we're going to take a look at the Conquest Army Builder. Now when you first come to the home page for the Army Builder you'll have a choice of either The Last Argument of Kings or First Blood. Well, we're talking about Last Argument of Kings today so we'll click on that. You'll then you know, ask do you want to browse the factions, do you want to prepare for war or do you want to look up a rule? Well I want to prepare for war and I'm going to do a 100k starter set for. So I type in the name I set my point limits. Well, we're just doing a starter set, so 700 points will be more than adequate. So we're going to click the 100 kingdoms as our force. And when we load up, on the left, we've got the character and regiment choices. In the middle, we've got the actual force we've selected. And on the right, we've got a summary of the items. Well, looking at these character choices, the only option we've got is the Noble Lord Cavalry. So if I click on him, You'll see over on the right here um, the details of that unit comes up. So I want to actually add that person to my army. So I click the little plus on the left hand side and the middle gets populated with that particular person. Now all armies need a warlord. So as the only leader figure I'm going to be using is the noble lord cavalry. I'm going to click the little cog next to his name and I'm going to select as my warlord. So I click the cog to close him. Now I could give him extra options, but I'm not going to for now. I'm just going to select him as a bog standard dude. Now he needs a cavalry regiment to attach to. So how do I attach a unit? Well, I click on the little icon to the left of his name, three people, and that will allow me to add regiments. So if I scroll down on the left hand window, I've got a whole load of choices. Well, I need some knights, so I'm going to add them. And they come in as what's known as a restricted regiment. So this is not a legal formation because for every restricted unit, you also need a mainstay unit. So if I scroll down a bit further, well, in the starter set, we've got men at arms and mercenary crossbowmen. So I'm going to add those two. I've now got a legal army. However, I've got six bases of men at arms. So let me add another set. I also bought some militia bowmen so let's add them well the problem here is i've now exceeded the capacity of my leader to lead they can only command four regiments at a time so let's say i want to keep my militia bowmen so let's get rid of the men at arms but the problem is i've now wasted three of those bases uh, that i've got uh, for my men at arms so I, I i want to use them well i either need to buy another leader or i can take an existing unit and increase the amount of bases so you'll see it comes with three bases as standard. So if I click the cog for that particular unit, I can actually add six. Or, oh, well, add three bases to get to a total of six. So there you go. That could be my particular starter set because I got the Militia Bowman as my freebie expansion. Now, let's say at retail you just buy just the base set. Well, very simply... Just remove the Militia Bowman and there you go, that is your legal force. So taking the contents of the base box, you're going to have a Noble Lord attached to Household Knights, a big sort of tar pit unit of men-at-arms that are going to get into a key choke point and clog it up and just grind their way through, and then some Mercenary Bowmen to harass people with uh, some armour-piercing long-range shots. Now, let's say you want to add some features to your Lord. We click on the cog and we scroll down and let's say we're going to give him the um, option of being a jouster. So I click the jouster. Well, why do I want to give him that? Well, if I click on jouster, this stand gains brutal impact too. What's that? When a regiment makes defense rolls against impact hits caused by a stand with this special rule, its defense is X points lower. So... Brutal Impact 2 means your defense is minus 2. Now, that could be pretty devastating. However, you might choose to pick a different option. So there you go. That is the 100k starter set. Let's have a quick look at the Spire. So I'm going to click on Home. I'm going to click on Conquest. Prepare for War. And give it Spires. Make sure it's limited to 700 points. This time I click on the Spires. Again, you've got a load of choices. Well, we have a Ferromancer, so I'm going to click on him. I'm going to need to make him a Warlord, so I tick Warlord. However, this character has a special feature where you have to select a Ferromancy. 
So I'm going to select Ferromantic Drive. If you click on the option for that, it's a draw event. So when you draw your Ferromancer, it triggers their effect. So the regiment immediately can take two actions and they can be the same type. That can be pretty devastating. You can do a clash and then a clash. However, they also gain Decay 3, which is where you roll some dice and potentially people die. So that's, that's not so good. Um, so there is a, another option in here which you can take, um, like Masteries of Flesh and stuff. Uh, I'm going to keep it simple and just leave it as that. So again, like we did with the 100k, we need to click on Units, where we've got an Abomination, so let's add them. Oh, we've got Brute Drones, let's add them. Unfortunately, they're both restricted, so I'm going to need to add two Mainstay Units. Well, I've got four Grown Jones, and I've got six of them, so I can add them twice. So unlike the big tar pit unit of Men at Arms, here I've got two three base units. Now with that Ferromancy I picked, that's maybe not a good idea. So maybe I might want to come in here, untick the drive, and instead maybe Induced Vigor to give me plus two March or Accelerated Hibernation to allow me to heal my unit. Yeah, that's the one I want, so I'm going to click that. And as you can see, I've now got 560 points. Now we had a few more points, if I remember correctly, for the 100k. So maybe the unit I'm going to attach my leader to also has a ferromantic node, which counts as a leader and a standard bearer. And I think I might have a few more points left, so maybe I could do that for my other unit as well. However, now maybe I've got too many points compared to the 100k, and you'd have to compare them and work out um, you know which option you wanted to do now if I come over here to the right uh, I could actually export this as a PDF and when you do that you effectively get this summary sheet of your army so you've got the stats the special rules unfortunately it doesn't necessarily tell you what those special rules are now you can click an option to include the rules so let's just show you that so you want to include the rules so we say yes and we say Spire's starter set. And let's open them. And there you go. So page one, um, I've got my force. And then page two, I've got my rules. So what do the individual bits do? And it gives you a little summary. So there you go. That has been a very quick look at the Army Builder. It's a really great tool to have included for free. And uh, as you can see, you're going to get about 600 points per side out of the starter set. And uh, that's a really good platform to build your army. Now, tournaments tend to be over 1,000 points from what I can gather. i got a feeling 1,500 to 2,000 points is sort of more where you want to be aiming for in the long run. Uh, but obviously, if you're not playing competitively, you're just playing with your mates, you don't need to worry about that. Anyway, that will do for this video. I hope you've enjoyed a quick look at the Army Builder. So until the next video, happy gaming.